well. And I love all of you, and, and as well as our campaign staff, Wayne Johnson, our senior strategist, and Tim Rosales, our campaign manager. Tim. Also a shout out to the bearded wonder, uh, Matt Shoup, our communications director. And uh, our fundraiser, Charles Moran. Uh, thank you, thank you so much. And you know what? The biggest thank you, I'm gonna reserve for the voters of California. Thank you, thank you. And you know, the voters stood up to the special interests of this state who are trying to take this state down with them. We are not going to let them, are we? No! You know, the last six weeks, the special interest money, the corruptive nature of that was on full display for all Californians. Millions of dollars from special interest billionaires, they were spent on pretty nasty, misleading commercials. And they attacked our campaign, and I'm happy to tell you, they failed, didn't they? Yes. And we saw this repeated across the state in legislative races and congressional races. They wanted to limit the choice to one party. Well, I'm telling you, one party in Sacramento, one party rule in Sacramento is bad enough, but one party elections is just plain un-American. So I want to thank the people of California for standing up against the effort to manipulate our electoral system. And I also want to thank them for sending a message that we want to have a clear choice for the future of California in November. I just talked to Gavin Newsom, but let me just take a moment to send them another message. Mr. Mr. Newsom, Mr. Newsom made it clear that he wanted to, to run against me instead of another Democrat. Well, as I told him in San Jose at the debate, be careful, Mr. Newsom, be careful for what you wish for. Mr. Newsom and his corrupt cronies made, uh, uh, they did a bunch of ads touting their opposition to the president. Well, let's send him the very first message, and that is it wasn't Donald Trump who made California the highest tax state in the country. It was Gavin Newsom and the Democrats. It wasn't President Trump who gave us a $52 billion gas tax increase without any reform of Caltrans, one of the most wasteful and inefficient agencies in the country. It wasn't Donald Trump who gave us that gas tax. It was Gavin Newsom, and we're going to repeal that tax in November. It wasn't President Trump that gave us one of the most expensive and failing school systems in the country. This is absolutely criminal to deprive our children of the education they deserve. We know it, the extra tax money that they passed in Prop 30, it's not going into the classroom, it's going to administrators and pensions. We need to get that money into the classroom and we need to give our children and our parents the education they deserve. And that includes right, building more so we have been uh, listening to John Cox, of course, uh, in a very confident speech. Uh, ABC News has not officially called this race, neither has the AP from the information we've got. But several other national outlets have called this race in terms of the governor's race in November will be between, this is again according to other outlets, uh, Fox News included, uh, governor, uh, between the, the governor's race, Gavin Newsom and John Cox. So we're still waiting on some independent coverage, uh, confirmation from the AP and ABC. Uh, but as you can see from this stump speech right now and on this campaign night, uh, it seems John Cox, the numbers his campaign are seeing, he's confident 
uh, with uh, the 20, it was 27% uh, to Gavin Newsom's 34% statewide. He's feeling good about these numbers. And as you mentioned, you said confident and confident indeed from this speech. He said that Mr. Newsom made it clear that he wanted to run against him instead of anyone else. And he went on to say, be careful what you wish for. Right. <laughs> so and, and what's really interesting, he's talking about uh, in California, it's been a long time since a Republican has been on the ticket. Typically, we've seen uh, Democrats go uh, with Governor Brown. Uh, and this really is uh, speaking perhaps to what we've been talking about is a lot of people are, are ditching politics as it is. He's made a speech, as you heard there, uh, fighting against special interests. So uh, this will be a race to watch, no doubt, as, uh, again, unofficial confirmation from ABC uh, but other networks and uh, as everything I'm seeing on Twitter has been uh, calling John Cox and Gavin Newsom for that race. That'll be uh, heading down to November. So we're going to keep watching this. Uh, we did have live feeds up from ABC that Gavin Newsom is expected uh, to speak anytime soon. So uh, we're going to keep checking back in with that. One other interesting development that has turned here locally. I want to put the information on your screen. The race for the, uh, I want to, if we can go back, guys, one, uh, that was the assembly district.